In a scathing 300-page report, the House Oversight Committee has blasted the Obama administration and former corrupt Attorney General Eric Holder for their cover-up of the fast and furious gun-running scandal, a scandal that was implicated in the death of an American law officer. CNN responded to the report by calling for the impeachment of President Trump because he made an untoward remark to James Comey. According to the House report, Holder and Obama's corrupt Justice Department did everything they could to withhold information from the family of Brian Terry, the American lawman who was murdered by gangsters using guns which Obama's DOJ had allowed them to buy. Holder regarded the grieving family of the murdered law officer as a, quote, nuisance, even though they were grieving, and the family of a law officer who was murdered by gangsters with guns that Holder and Obama had allowed them to buy. CNN journalists responded to the report by screaming for seven straight hours about the fact that President Trump had clumsily asked James Comey to let go of his investigation into Michael Flynn. No law officers were killed in the conversation. Eric Holder became the first corrupt attorney general to ever be held in contempt of Congress for his refusal to turn over documents relating to the Fast and Furious scandal, which, as I may have mentioned, was implicated in the murder of an American lawman who was fighting Mexican drug dealers who were using guns that Obama's DOJ had allowed to fall into their hands in the scandal that Holder and Obama were covering up. CNN reported on the House Oversight Committee's findings saying, quote, unquote, not only was Eric Holder found in contempt of Congress for his refusal to turn over documents relating to the Fast and Furious scandal, a scandal which was implicated in the death of an American law officer, but President Barack Obama granted Holder executive privilege so that he wouldn't have to turn over documents. Obama's actions served to further obstruct the investigation into the scandal, which facilitated the buying of guns by Mexican gangsters who later killed an American law officer whose grieving family was deemed a nuisance by Eric Holder, who was granted executive privilege by Obama so he wouldn't have to reveal the truth. CNN commentators say that this amounts to obstruction of justice by Donald Trump because he made an inappropriate remark, during which no one died, because it was a remark, not one of thousands of guns that had been sold to Mexican gangsters and then used in a shootout in which a law officer died, which Eric Holder then covered up with Barack Obama's help. According to CNN commentator Anderson Lyface, quote, Donald Trump is clearly in violation of some sort of law or something and is a doo-doo stinky dink who is worse than Watergate, whatever that was, unquote. James Comey has now finished his public testimony about the Russia investigation and law officers are continuing not to die in that investigation the way they did die during Fast and Furious, which Holder and Obama covered up. This is not CNN. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show.